We're here in Seoul, Korea, and we're talking to Dr. David Kim. Dr. Kim spent many years in Saudi Arabia. Now, you were working in Saudi Arabia, is that correct? Yes, uh, 1987, I started working in Saudi Arabia. Beginning time, when I arrived to Saudi Arabia, nobody used oriental medicals, acupuncture treatment and chiropractic and some herbal medicine, and these things was my job. How did you get there? Were you invited? That time, uh, Saudi government, they need a lot of worker, labor, you know, the engineer and uh, some electrical technicians and even uh, medical employee, you know. So the Saudi Minister of Health visit to Korea. We call it here in Korea, Kodoko. Kodoko is Korea Overseas Development Companies. Okay. They invited me to come to there to translate because um, many the medical uh, step they want to go to work in Saudi Arabia. And that times he asked me, why not you go to Saudi Arabia? <laughs> so <laughs> I come to there. And you spent, was it 20 years there? Yeah, from um, 1987, beginning times, I started work at the King Fahad Central Hospital. This is a very big uh, hospital. After that, I moved near to Jeddah. Jeddah is beside of the Red Sea. It's a big city also. So I started work there as an acupuncturist in the hospital. One day, the local newspaper came to have an interview. What is the acupuncture and what kind of disease can you treat and so and so. So they take picture and morning time when I come to the hospital, the, the doctors, they bring the newspaper, come to my clinic. Hey, Dr. Kim, your picture is here. I thought maybe small like this, you know, but the one page, completed the page, right. it's talking about the oriental medical and da, 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 like this. And after that, another newspaper reporter, also they visit, you know, come and go, come and go like this. The population almost now 7 billion, but 1.7 billion is Muslim. Muslims have to pray five times a day to Saudi Arabia, Mecca. Allah house is there. They call it the Kaaba. Only one person allowed to go inside. He is the governor of Mecca. Then uh, he has neck disc. He visits many places, to the doctors and other countries also. All the doctors say they want operation. But he was afraid to operations. One day when he came to Saudi Arabia, he opened the newspaper. He found me. Hospital director, one day morning, he come to me. Hey, Dr. Kim, very high rank people he's looking for. And then I want to follow you and want to shake hands. Who is he? He said, he's governor of Mecca. Okay, I prepare. I go there. When I come to his palace, almost 15 people were sitting and he was in the middle. He asked to me, can you treat the, my neck or the doctor want operations? I said, no problems. And then after that, I start treatment. Only six times treatment, he become normal. He was very happy and he said uh, he wanted me as friend. So when I finished my job from the hospital, always he sent me his security guy and his car, take me to come to palace. We have dinner together. Every day there is party, you know. He has another problem. I start to pray for him and he was become normal. And he offered to me, how much your salary in the hospital? I said this much. I will give you five times then hospital, you come to my private position. I <laughs> you is very good chance for me, even the same salary, you know, you cannot find something like this. After that, I start work with him, you know. When I work there, after I think uh, five years, my parents, I give them to go to pilgrim to Mount Sinai in the Sinai Peninsula, and then he visit to the Jerusalem and Turkey and Italy, and he came back. And that time I have vacation to come to Korea. When I see my father, he said, look, look, I have been to pilgrim, but the why is very big different, the Bible and Snipe Mount. And then I said, you are the elder in the church. How you say like that? <laughs> Don't talk like this. He said, no, no, it's something different. And then he gave to me the videotapes. And then when I see the showing about Ron Wyatt, he said he had been to the northern part of the Saudi Arabia in Midian wilderness. Then he said Mount Sinai is there. So I was very much strange because since I was a child, I read so many times the books. But I'm just reading the book, but uh, never match on the map with the Bible, you know. My father, he gave me the videotapes. After that, I take the videotape to come to Saudi Arabia. And then I 
watching and watching and watching. I was very much strange because I never think media wilderness is in Saudi Arabia. I thought it in Sinai Peninsula, you know. So definitely I have so many confusing with the Bible and the location and I start matching so a lot of things is something long. And after that uh, I'm, I have to go to where is the real Mount Sinai, you know. So and then why they say the Jabal Musa in Sinai Peninsula is the, the, the Mount Sinai. So I started digging the, the background of the Mount Sinai. When did you first go to Jibli Laws? I started the 2001 until 2006. It means six years. Twelve times I traveled there. From Jeddah to the Midian Wilderness, it will be take times around 1,200 kilometers. You drive? Yeah, I drive myself. Wow. 1,200 kilometers, only one way. It's very far, you know. The local peoples, yeah. they call it the Jabal Laws. Jabal Lodz, Jabal means Arabic is the mountains, and Lodz means the almond. It's something strange, Arabic and Hebrew name is the same, Lodz. But in Saudi Arabia, actually, it's not growing the almond tree, except these mountains. God ordered to Moses, the Oholiab and Busalel, two persons giving them the knowledge to make menorah by the God. How they made menorah, three branch, and other side three branch, yes. is like almond flour. Thou shalt make a candlestick of pure gold, three bowls made like unto almonds, with a knop and a flower in one branch, and three bowls made like almonds in the other branch, with a knop and a flower, so in the six branches that come out of the candlestick. Then twelve tribes had problems, that times. Moses ordered to the every tribe to the staff, Together. put the name of the tribe, and, they and then they put in the ark. Uh -huh. Morning times, found out the Aaron, his staff, yes. almond tree and almond flower was there. And take of every one of them a rod, write thou every man's name upon his rod, and thou shalt lay them up in the tabernacle of the congregation before the testimony, where I will meet with you. And it shall come to pass that the man's rod whom I shall choose shall blossom. And it came to pass that on the morrow, Moses went into the tabernacle of witness, and behold, the rod of Aaron for the house of Levi was budded, and brought forth buds, and bloomed blossoms, and yielded almonds. How to match the, this mountain name and this almond? But also, why is matching the Jabal Lowe's and the Hebrew and Arab is same word, same meanings? Okay. After Lone Wyatt was there, the Saudi government, they know that this place is important. And also they have a special investigation all around the mountains. Mm -hmm. They found so many stone structures and the many ancient the rock inscriptions. Mm -hmm. And the top of the mountain they built the missile and the radar is there. No one allowed in that place. So also when I have exploring times all around the mountains, I found so many digging places. Mm -hmm. Because the, a lot of people, they are still the digging, looking for jewelry. Mm -hmm. But in Saudi Arabia, there is not raining too much. Every five years, sometimes every six years, one time is raining. When it's raining times, too much coming. So when it's too much rain coming, all the ground is thick out. So after rain, a lot of the artifact has come out. So that's why the after rain season, they are looking for a lot of things, you know, sometimes gold and sometimes silver. Many, many items is coming out. But according to the Quran, when the golden carp happening, they collected all the gold and put it under the ground of the front of the Mount Sinai. Oh. So that's why they believe and looking for somewhere, still there is a lot of jewelry around the mountain. Oh, so that's why there is a lot of thief around the mountain. Oh. <laughs> so whatever I go, I met several uh, Bedouin. They said always, do you have this one? Do you have this one? It means this one, metal detector. Yes. <laughs> you brought the metal detector, <laughs> metal detector. <laughs> so that's why they are, up to today, they are looking for something like this. So the Saudi government has put a fence around, mm -hmm. like that, with the, gold, with the cows are carved on, what could have been the altar, and a sign saying archaeological area. Yes. So they recognize these as significant. Do they really know what they have? They know everything. 
they know the, all the history. Mm -hmm. They know the, already the excavating already there. They're excavating yes. already? Yeah, yeah, sure. They're excavating. Somewhere. So if they're excavating, are they putting what they find in a museum? Can mm -hmm. we go and see that? Or are they hiding it? Or what are they well, doing? some of them, the rock inscriptions, they collect to yeah. put in the museum, some of them. Okay. And uh, some of them, they remove it. Okay. Some of them, they cover it by metal plate. And uh, I don't know why they cover the metal plate. Wow. To but protect it or hide it? Pro protect and hide at the same time. You know? okay. <laughs> when you climb the mountain, obviously the top is black, but down the bottom it's well, not black. Well, let me tell you, the Jabal Lowe's yeah. is mountain range. Yeah. So many crests is there. Yeah. But all this one they call it the Jabal Lowe's. Okay. But one of the top of the mountain, they build the radar and the military base on it here. The other mountain is very high and very dangerous climb up this one. Okay, very see. peak, deep, yes. Okay. And then another place I climbed near to the later place. Okay. But opposite side, mm -hmm. but I can't climb. I know only one person climb up there, one family. It's called the Jim and Penny Crowdwell. I understand from their video, they said where the, the black begins, it's very distinct. It's a clear change from normal rock to black, like it's a boundary, a really clear boundary. Did you found that too? Yeah, yeah. I go to the, on the back side and I, I come to there. But this one, the, like stone, is melted. Uh -huh. But uh, some of them, they arguing, said, oh, this one volcanic stone. But volcanic stone, if you broke inside, also is black. Yes. But this one, only the outside is blackened. Uh -huh. So this one is different. When they are in the camp in front of the Mount Sinai, or the Israeli peoples, they want to see God. God said to Moses, you want to see me? Three days clean your body, wash your clothes, don't go near to the woman. Mm -hmm. After three days, all the Israeli people, almost two million people, stand in front of the mountains. Mm -hmm. When God appeared, top of the mountain is smoking, mm -hmm and the firing, and that times they appear, God say to the peoples, you know. So that's why maybe that times these things were make uh, maybe top of the mountains black. Mm -hmm. And you have almost 20 to 30 percent from the top of the mountain is blackened. But it's the, it's go down, is normal. Wow. Yeah, it's not like a volcanic stone, right. different, very big different volcanic stone. Is this area mm -hmm. easy to look around or do you need special permission to go there? Well, well, in any country, whatever you go, the military base is not allowed any persons. Sure, yes. As you know, the Saudi government, if you have Israel stamp on your passport, uh -huh. you cannot come to Saudi. Okay, yes. So if they found the Israel stamp, yes. you're not allowed to come to Saudi Arabia. Okay. From airport, you have to go back. Right. And number two, as you know, the, in Saudi, there is the Allah house in the Mecca. Yes. A lot of the pilgrims, peoples, they have the two times they are coming. One for the, call it the Hajj times, oh, yes. and one for the Ramadan times. Okay. So many, the, they are coming to visit to Saudi Arabia by the pilgrim visa. Yes. They are not go out sure. or stay there okay. to have the job there. You know? So the police or the military, always they are the checkpoint looking for the ID okay. card. So whatever you move, or whatever you visit, the small village or the small town, always the watch people looking for you. But normal place is like that. But if you go to the military base, it's very big different. But they have already very tight security there, top of the mountains. Every wadi, also there is many Bedouin, they live there. They have uh, communicating the government side and the even civilian, you know. So uh, not easy to come to that place. So the Bedouins work with the government to keep... Yes, yes, of things. course. Okay. Yes. The, the government also helping too much to the Bedouins. They supply okay. the gas okay. and sometimes water okay. and also some, the, you know, the financing also right. that they are supporting to the Bedouin. Okay. Yeah. Saudi is a rich country. Yes. <laughs> So there's no way you could get there without being seen or spotted. You couldn't sneak there. Yeah, there's uh, <laughs> it's no way because from entrance they will catch you. Okay. But the, for me, the, my position 
was it's not like uh, normal people, you know. I was working the royal family palace, and also the, my car was special numbers. Okay. And I have special letter from the royal family. So whatever I go, the, nobody can touch. Right. But if you come to the front of the mountain of the Jabalos, there is so many archaeological area. Nobody allowed to take pictures, nobody allowed to come to there. If you want to reach up to the front of the mountains, maybe three, four times there is a checkpoint. Okay. Yes. So not easy to come to there. First trips, you no, know, I have to prepare a lot of things because from my place to that uh, median wilderness, it's going to 1,200 kilometers. Yes. So I don't know the, if you go to the desert, what happens? So I have to prepare the, some map, and sometimes we need a rope. So also the night time, maybe you need uh, some light. And these things, dead things, you have to prepare many things, you know. Mm. And also, if you go to the desert, yes. there is no signboard at all. You have to go yourself, you know. Okay. So I prepared the many things. And my boss, Prince, he was the vacation on the outside. Yes. So I have chance to go. But that times I have one patience. Yes. He is a Saudi sheikh. Okay. He's a big man. Yes. So I have to stop the treatment, you know. I talked to the sheikh, sheikh the, I have to go the my vacations, so when I come back, I will start treatment again. And then he said, where do you go? I said, the median wilderness. Oh, come on, don't go there, it's very dangerous there. They are the Bedouin, is, they are not following the government rule. Very dangerous, don't go there. I said, I must go. And then he said, oh, you must go. If you want to go, you ask to the, your boss to bring the gun. I said, oh no, how come I am carrying the gun? He said, no, you should be. I said to him, the, the, my boss, he's outside now on vacations. And then he said, I will give you the, my gun. And he just <laughs> bring the, his gun and give it to me, you know. But I can't carry the gun, you know. It's dangerous, you know. So no, 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 no need. And then after that, I come to the house. We prepare to go tomorrow, you know. And then the night time, always we are pray to God in the family, pray times. When I pray time, finish. Then suddenly, I heard his voice, you bring the gun. Then I'm not talk to my family, you know, because if I say something, this is will be afraid, you know. And night times, before I sleep, I pray to God. And again, also, the, I remember the bring the guns. And the other day, morning time, everything, I put the, all my the baggage put in the car. Day times, uh, eight years boy, and 10 years girl, and another 12 years girl, my wife and me, we are the five people only. And then before I departure, I pray God again. And suddenly, it reminded me again to bring the gun. And if I explain to family, they are afraid, you know. I go to the house, and then I'm looking for the child, the toy box. When I dig out, there is the, you know, so many things is coming out. But I found out this toy gun. <laughs> It's around $2 I bought on the street, you know. It looks like a gun, you know. <laughs> then this one I put inside here, but no one knows I bring the toy gun, you know. Then after that, I arrived to the median wilderness. I don't know how to go, but when I opened the Saudi maps, I found out the Wadi Musa. Oh, how come, how come it's Wadi Musa? It's Miss Moses, you know. Yes. Then I follow this one, and then I found out the so many the acacia tree, we call it sitim. So many sitim tree was there. And some old man was under the trees because there is a little bit shadow he was there. Around, I think around 80 years and 70 years, and the old man was there. I know how to speak Arabic and salam alaikum, it means hello to them, you know. And when, when I speak the, the, the foreigners speak uh, the Arab language, they are strange, you know. Hey, 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 hey. And they are actually the deep. They are looking for some jewelry on the desert. You know. He asked me, the, you bring the metal detector? I don't have metal detector. And then he said, he want to go whatever we go. He said, if we found gold or jewelry, whatever, let's divide 50-50. He said like this, okay, if we found, we divide 50-50. And then we, I talked to him, but if we found some things, we divide 50-50, but I have to go to the Jabal Lodge. He said, no, don't go there. There is military already there. If you go there, they will catch you. I said, no problem. Let's go there. And he said, no, no, no. He asked me, he offered to me 200 real 
Saudi 200 real, it means that you can buy one piece of gold. Okay. And I say, okay, no problem, I will give you the 200 real, but you should be taking me to go to Jabal Laws. He said, okay, I will go, let's go. And then he is, was driving in front of me. I'm following him, you know. And then after that, I think around 15 to 20 minutes, he said, that this one is Jabal Laws. When I look, it's nothing there. I said, no, this one is not Jabal Laws. He said, he said to me, if you pay 100 real more, I will bring to you the <laughs> Jabal Law. <Lord. laughs> it's an Arab businessman. <laughs> then suddenly I said to him, look, we have a contract 200 real. If you want 100 real more, it means you broke our contract. Go to your house. I go to myself. If I found gold, I will not give it to you anything to you. He said, no, 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 let's go, let's go. But that times, I drive myself because I know maybe way to, because already we know the directions, you know. You know. So I'm following the, my way. And I will tell you, I, Saudi, the sky, is, there is no cloud because no rain, you know. But I found the big black cloud is touched the top of the mountains. Okay. So I thought maybe if I go there, place will be Jabalos. We are the far away, but the, we know the direction because okay. the, it's like a signal, you know. So I'm following, 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 but the, the, the crowd is always is moving, depends on the wind, you know. But this one is not move. He touched the, the top of the mountain and slowly, slowly it's coming down. It's like a, wow. the cloud of pillar, you know. And then I follow, 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 and the last moment when I arrived, that mountain was the Jabalos. <laughs> Wow, so that's how you found it, like God put a cloud there. Yeah. Wow. And then I stopped there. When I come out, suddenly, on my back sunshine, but this black cloud completely covered the whole around the mountains. Wow. From inside, it started lighting, tendering, like God appeared uh, <laughs> 3,500 days before. Wow. I was afraid, really. This is your first trip there? Yeah, first trips. Wow. And suddenly, I fell down. I start to pray to God. You know the rain drop on my body, and you know the tender the the sound inside the mountain. It's huge. You feel the like earthquake also shaking the ground. I was afraid that some stone is falling down from the mountain, and tendering and the writing. After that, I was afraid. You know, pray to the God, please. We are the sin. You know. <laughs> You know, the more than 50 years old, you know, what I did before. <laughs> so I started to think about wow. everything is to uh, pull it out to God. And mm -hmm. then the, all my family are afraid to inside the car. And the Bedouin also, they are afraid in the car. I pray and pray and pray. And suddenly I feel something, you know, mm -hmm. very quiet. When I look and the whole cloud is gone, suddenly, wow. and sunshine again. <laughs> And Bedouin, he come to me, hey, 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 I say, why? Maybe the writing, <laughs> you have happened something like this. And then I asked him, the, did you see something like this happen? He said, he's more, or almost 80 years old. He said, I never seen all my life. Wow. And this time is not the raining season. Yes. Why is something happened like this? I say, I don't know. <laughs> After that, uh, we come out another days. I come to the another side of the mountains. I escaped from the checkpoint. Several times I met, but uh, I will go, and then when they go, go, and then I come back again like this. You know? <laughs> the last moment I reached to the front of the mountain, I found out, uh, like in videotapes, uh, the Ron Wyatt, they put the pants all around, uh -huh. the, the golden calf altar was there. Mm -hmm. I found out also the Egyptian god inscriptions, Hathor and Apis. There is the day drawing there. And when I come inside, also Exodus chapter 24, 4, Moses, early morning, he wake up, and then he go with young people, he build up the altar, and then he has burnt in front of the mountain. All the, the uh, area, what is written in the Bible, exactly that point was that. And the 12 stone pillar was also there. Mm -hmm. And when I have a videotape and, uh, with my family, and suddenly, Secret police, poor secret police people, they come to there. Why you take picture? What you are doing? Why you come? And they speak Arabic, you know. But I know how to speak Arabic, but I'm not talk at all 
the Arabic, I start to speak English, but he doesn't understand even one word of English. But I know what they are doing, what they are talking, you know. Mm -hmm. But the, they said, take a picture, take a picture, you can take a picture. It means, after that, they, they said behind on me, leave it him, take pictures. When he take picture, we can collect the, this camera, and then we're going to do something like that. The Saudi girls, eight years old, they can marry it. Eight years old. Oh, they get married. They can marry it, possibly. Yeah, yeah. You know? But right. when it's become eight years old, you have to cover whole your face with hair. You know? But my daughter was 10 years old, 12 years old, my wife was there. But nobody to cover on it there. Okay. They found out there some foreigners' ladies here, yeah. even the 10 years old, they said, I want to take this one, you will take that girl. I was very shocked. But, the, but the, they think that we are not understand Arabic, you know. <laughs> Suddenly, I have to go, but another three, the commander, they arrive there, they catch us. And we come to his Bedouin tent they have there in front of the mountains. He gave me the one papers, you write down why you come here, what you did. Huh? Mm -hmm. You have to write down everything. Then I, I show them the permission list. papers. Okay. When he look, oh, you work with Prince? I say, yes. And suddenly they change, but why you take pictures? Okay. But that time I brought three cameras uh -huh. and two video cameras. Another one I keep it on inside. Uh -huh. the, my children, so they play with the camera. You know. uh -huh. That time it was not the digital camera, that you put the, the film inside. Uh -huh. I opened the camera and uh, pull it out the film with the camera, I gave it to him. Okay, if I do like this, it's okay. He was laughing, you know. Okay, 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 no problem. Go, but don't come again. If you come one more time, I will catch you. This one is very dangerous place. Don't come anymore here. Yeah. Okay, and then we come out. It's already the going to sunset. Yes. So when we come out, we don't know how to go. There is no signboard and how to go the direction, but I have a compass inside the car. So I just looking for the west side. If you come to the west side, it's the Red Sea is there. You know. I'm just following like this. After that, suddenly sunset. Yeah. After sunset, maybe 10 to 15 minutes, I found one car is following me. And suddenly they come to me. When I look him, he was the secret police, three secret police, they come to there. Okay. And then he said, why you are going to long this? I will take you to short way, just follow me. And then I was very much thank you to them, you know. Then I follow them. But they are taking the long place. They take us very deep mountains. Oh, okay. And suddenly he stopped. After that, he said, come out from your car. We make a barbecue, one goat from here, and then you can go. There was nothing in the desert, nobody around there. Uh -huh. and then, but that time was the moonlight. Okay. When I looked, his eyes was very much exciting. You know? yeah. I don't know how to do it, and suddenly I feel uh, tension. You know? uh -huh. And then I said, no, I have to go, the long journey, I have to go. Okay. And suddenly his hand come into the, my car, he wanted to pull it out of my car, key. And I hold his hand and push him to out. When he come out, and then he look exactly behind on me, the, my boy. I feel that he will be open to my you know, back door. Mm -hmm. And when he come back, I immediately I lock the door. And he opened the door, but it was locked already. Right. Ding, like this. After that, he's going back. But another guy is also in front of me. He's coming to me. Wow. And then I don't know how to attack. I don't know how to do. And suddenly on the back, my two daughters was screaming, Papa, Papa. I say, why? That uncle, he has the knife. When I look like this, he has the big sword. I was shocked. And suddenly one guy in front of me. And after that, when I look this guy, beside of me, my wife was there. He also another screaming. When I look, the other guy is holding my wife's hair. He put the knife. And then he, they want to pull it down. So he had your wife by the hair? Oh, yes, and hair and the one knife on, on the neck on it wow. here. What to do? Yeah. You know, the, if something suddenly like this, you don't know how to do. Yeah. Suddenly I feel the toy gun. Uh -huh. And immediately I pull it out and put the dead guys. There is no time to speak Arabic or the English. Right. Suddenly I say to Korean, Sandra, it's Miss Hands Up. <laughs> Korean <laughs> word, Sandra. But he was hurt up. Which one who hurt my wife? No. Right. And he also he dropped his 
the, the knife. And three of them, I co collect them to on the ground. Right. They put on the stomach, you know. They, they, since that times, I speak Arabic, you know. What I'm saying? Nom alambatun homar, Arabic. Nom alambatun homar, it means put your stomach on the ground. And then after that, I say, I shout them, it's homar means it's donkey, you know. <laughs> and they, I was afraid, you know, shaking like this. And then one guy, I put the, my feet on the back side. Give me your key. I collected his car key. And then, who want to go die first? You? 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 <laughs> Nobody want to die. <laughs> they are they start shaking. You know? Then I shouting them and uh, I give them, you know. Mm -hmm. After that, if you follow me, I will kill you. I said, my God is not like your God. What you did was bad things. And then I learned away. You know how to go? Really, I don't know. But just the driving, very fast driving. Sometimes the, my car four, four wheel, you know, it's jump the same times. From the back, my children and many of the backs is come to the front. <laughs> drive, drive, drive. But I found road. Then from there, almost 300 kilometers again, I come to the south part. Then there, I found a small inn. Yes. Almost 1 o'clock in the morning, we go there, we wash out, we pray to God to save us, you know. And then sleep. The early morning, me and my wife, earlier than child, we prepare baggage from, because from that place to my home, another 800 kilometers, yes. we have to come, you know. So when we prepared the baggage, my second daughter, she was 10 years old. She talked some things when we preparing the baggage. But she wake up from the bed, she's sitting like this, and she open eyes, and she looks something and she talks something. I said, she's, if she's dreaming, she's lay down on the bed, why she sit up there? And then I said to my wife, look, look what, what she's doing. And she's still something talking, but we don't understand at all. Something different language. Wow. And then my wife, she go there, the, called my daughter, the, yes. the darling, darling. And then, but uh, she's still talking. And then she called me, darling, come here. I think something is strange. When I come there, she opened eyes, she talked something, but we don't understand. And then I was afraid. And then I heard my daughter's name, the Unsor, you know. Answer, answer, answer. When I do like this, like this, and then she, like this, Baba, Baba, Jesus, Jesus. Uh -huh. wow. She's 10 years old. Uh -huh. I say, you dream? No, 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 I'm third time I'm wake up now. I say, how come? You know, when I sleep time, somebody call me my names. Answer, 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 like this. And then she wake up. She found out something in the very high mountain and top of the mountain is very strong light come to me. Mm -hmm. Said from the light, said, Unsol, don't worry, I will take care of your family. Mm -hmm. And then she was still uh, sleepy, you know. She slept and then again called somebody called Unsol, Unsol. So now I'm third time I'm wake up, I'm sure he is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So that's why you went back again and again? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so second trips, when I prepare to go to the second trips, mm -hmm. all my family, they don't like to go. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Baba, you sure. go yourself. Sure. My wife said, you go yourself, I will not go with you. Twelve times tribe, the exploring there, the last yes. exploring times, we go to there and uh, we found out so many rock inscription was there, all around that place. Also, we found out a lot of uh, millstone okay. and then we found out. But the Menorah, what I know, the oldest menorah was AD 70, Roman Titus, oh, yes. he took yes. to the Rome, you know. Yes. After that, that, they don't found the oldest menorah up to today. Yes. But what I found, this menorah inscriptions is very old. Why? Around this menorah inscriptions, there is so many old letters was there. This old letter it's very similar in Hebrew letters, okay. and call it maybe Talmudic. Talmudic, it means BC 13 to B B BC 15. Okay. It's almost exodus the times. Wow. This letter with menorah together here. Okay. So let me tell you, the 
That place is uh, Arabia. That place, why there is the Jewish mark on it there? And that place, why all the Hebrew letter is there? Is this one what I am saying? So still, uh, we are the starting about this menorah inscription with the old letters. You know, the sandals, like you got the flat rock with the sandal on it. Yes. There's a verse in the Bible, the, the Cordwells mentioned this. Mm -hmm. You know, it says... Jehoshua. Okay, is it? Jehoshua, whatever you go. Wherever the sole yeah. of your feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's connected to that, or do you think it's... Well, I found out yes. so many... The, the footprint. So there's not just... Many footprint. But only that place near the Jabal Lowe's is in the Lubitim area. Okay. What I think in the Lubitim area was the thorn bush was there. Okay. Why? God said, appear to the thorn bush. Moses, Moses, if you go to Pharaoh, mm -hmm. you have to tell him, I want to go three days journey to go out. You have to tell to the Pharaoh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And before he mentioned, he said, you move to your yeah, center because this is a holy place. Yeah. So I found out also so many the north, northern far area, the, the footprint. But all the footprint, there is the only the left and right only. Mm -hmm. But the, which one I found the footprint in near the Rubidim area, there is the sandal, not only foot. Mm -hmm. Sandal means the w w what you call it the hold hold here then yes. the, this one is open okay. so another place what and i found the, the the footprint there was no the holder so it means that place surely what i feel it moses he take off shoes mm -hmm. because this is a holy place so that's why they make that left and right centers was that near the split rock yeah near the split rock okay. around um, i can tell you the maybe one kilometer away from there. Really? Huh? Yeah. Wow. But one kilometer is not far, you know. All around this place, I found the footprint. Wow. But already some of them, the Saudi army, yeah. they come there. The, they are the removing some really? yeah, inscriptions. Yeah. One uh, Bedouin show me, I have the rock inscription. This one is a step on the rock. From here, snake head. Snake head on it here, uh -huh. but uh, they are the removing by the, the hammer. The snake head they remove it. Only the step is there, uh -huh. but the Bedouins say this one was the snake head on it here. Uh -huh. This column we can see here was discovered in the late 1970s, lying in the water of the Red Sea, just at the shoreline down here. At that time, Israel had control of the Sinai Peninsula. And this was set up here in concrete by the Israeli soldiers. Its significance wasn't understood until in 1984 a matching column was found on the Saudi coastline opposite. And that one had an inscription on it. Unfortunately that pillar has now been removed by the Saudi authorities. There's a pillar on the Egyptian side. Yes. Which uh, looks very much like the Phoenician ones mm -hmm. when you go up to Tyre and Sidon in the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. And apparently one was found opposite in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about that? So myself also I have been to the Nueva. Uh -huh. I checked the stone pillar. Yeah. Opposite side in Saudi Arabia side. Yeah. This stone pillar was also in front of the Nueva. So I found on one day morning the Saudi boy was fishing on the seaside. So I met him, I asked about the stone pillar. He said, yeah, it was there, but where is now? He said, he's not allowed to talk. And then I started to mention about the royal family and so and so. And he started to talk about uh, that stories. He said that they write on the stone pillar by Arabic letter, La illa illa la. It means Allah, God is only one. And they written there, and this stone pillar they put in the seawater. He said they almost between four to five meters under the sea, the stone pillar is there. After that, I come to there, on the Red Sea shore, 
There is no signboard at all in that place. There is a signboard, not allowed swimming this place. <laughs> and there is also the watchtower also there. So if it is really the King Solomon times Red Sea crossing mark pillar, will be Mount Sinai will move to Saudi Arabia. On Google Earth, in yes. these areas, like as if there's like Nazca lines, like drawings. Mm -hmm. If you come to the cable, uh -huh. there is a huge size of the stone structure was it there, uh -huh. black stone. Wow. But the, if you are the ground, you look, you follow the wall, yes. you know, it's very long. It's not 600, 700, still the, the one line was there. Mm -hmm. Later, when I come back to the home, I come to the, through to the Google Earth. Yes. I found out very strange picture was there. Uh -huh. As you know, the, if you go to the Peru, Nazca the yes. area, yes. they are now, the UNESCO, they are controlling there. Yes. The biggest the picture is 200 meter to 250 meter okay. only. Yes. But here in the median wilderness, stone structures, sometimes you can find 1.7 kilometer, sometimes you found three kilometer of the picture is there. Uh -huh. But each one is there is something meaning is there, something, something really the strange, mysterious, mm -hmm. but the huge labor have to work for these structures. Right. Who was there that much big size of the populations? So only Bedouin. except the Hebrew only. Bedouin is uh, cannot be do. <laughs> Even now the Saudi population is 16 million people. Uh -huh. They cannot uh, constructing that much. Maybe just to remove by hand sure. will be take several months. Yes. Uh -huh. But it's not only one place, you know. Some place and some other place and up to Jordan. Yes. Before the, the cross to the Jericho, you know. So it means what I feel, the huge size population mm -hmm. was constructing these structures. Mm -hmm. So if you go there, you should be checked. Well, we're here in the middle of the desert of Jordan, checking out what Dr. Kim showed us on Google Earth. And sure enough, we find these lines. Now, obviously, to build these, there's a lot of manpower involved in that. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. These go for miles, literally. Some large group of people spend a lot of time doing this. This appears to be an ancient cattle yard. You can see these rock walls, which are obviously crumbling down. But it makes sense. The shape, the area, the size, and this is, if you like, on the back path into the Promised Land. You have some artefacts yes. that you found in a yeah. museum here in mm -hmm. Seoul, is that right? I have collection myself, yes. and sometimes it's coming from the royal family also. Mm -hmm. They give to me, I have uh, many artefacts. And we build up here in Korea, we spend almost $16 million mm -hmm. to build up the uh, Korean Missionary Museum. Mm -hmm some part is supported from the government and some part from the church. So we built a museum. And the first floor, so we made you know, small Sinai Peninsula and the Arabian Peninsula. We put the Jabal Lodge. And the, my item also display on it here with a video clip. Yes. Yeah, and I, many church group, they come to there. You know, they have a special experience for looking around there. Yeah. If this is Mount Sinai, this is very significant. Mm -hmm. So why hasn't the archaeologists mm -hmm. gone there and investigated this? It was the uh, AD 527, Justinian, Justinian Emperor said, this one is Mount Sinai. It was the after Exodus, 1700 years. Yeah. AD 610, the Prophet Muhammad okay. became Islamic. No one can enter that place, archaeological area, or okay. no one can excavations. So up to today, even there is, looks like a Bible, the stone structure is there, and 12 stone pillar is there, and Elia cave is there. Everything is there. What is written like Bible, 100% is there. But now the Islam people occupied here. So who can go inside? No. Nobody can inside. Since AD 610, when Islamic occupied in this area, 
you cannot go inside. You want to go, but you cannot. You try to apply the official visa for the excavation in this place. You think they will release visa to you? No. So you cannot go there. The Quran mentions Moses. So would they not be interested in confirming history that is mentioned in the Quran? I, I understand why. The Joseph, Exodus time, Joseph, the skeleton, yes. come to the Sekem. Yes. Since long time, Joseph graveyard was there. Yes. And 2001, mm -hmm. it was Israeli territory was there. But when to become 2001, this, ter this area become to the Palestine. Uh -huh. After four hours, yes. Palestine Islam people, they come to there, they broke uh -huh. Joseph's grave. Mm. If the Mount Sinai was open place, like uh, Egypt, or the, if the Mount Sinai was in the, the, the America, or somewhere, it will be destroyed, everything. Yes, yes. Like uh, the, the Jerusalem. Yeah. But this one, 3,500 years, he protect himself, not appear anything. So many tribes, so many generations, and come and go, come and go, but he keep it long time in the desert. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, last day yeah. before the Jesus coming, very few selection people bring to show the, this place, yes. to show them where is the real Mount Sinai. Let me tell you, Jesus times, he did a lot of things. Sometimes you don't know how to work, but the, 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 the Jesus, when he wake up, he suddenly work. Yes. The blind, he open eyes. Yes. Dumbs, he can talk. Yes. Like Nazareth, he was after die three days, already start smelling his body, but he come out, he alive. Mm -hmm. But you think that times all the people, they believe that Jesus? No. Mm -hmm. Who believe? Weakness peoples. Child. Mm -hmm. No power peoples. Mm -hmm. When Jesus, he come to the Jerusalem, who should become first? Priest, he come to obey to the Jesus, but he's not come. Who have to come? Sadugain, Parisian, all of them they have to come to because they have to come to Jesus, but nobody come there. Who was their child? He bring the, they broke the palm tree, the Hosanna, Hosanna, Messiah, Messiah. It was child, it's not them. What I'm thinking is, to pray to God. If the very famous pastor or the very famous archaeologist, which one who work in the Harvard University, or somebody's famous people, the, the archaeologist, if he look the Java laws, he'll be crazy. A lot of people they follow them. Right? They will go into studies. But me, I'm Korean. I'm not American. I'm not European. I'm not white people, yellow peoples. He brought me to show to this place. To look. <laughs>